This is the Squire Affinity Jazz Master in Lake Placid Blue. How is it? Let's find out. Hey welcome, to, hey, hey, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. And if you like the video, don't forget to give me a like and we'll get this video to 8 trillion likes. You can turn on notifications too if you're new here. You know that? You can do that. Do that stuff. Do the things you do for the YouTube channels. Fairly recently, Squire did a refresh of their Affinity line of guitars. And I did a few last year. I did uh, like a bunch of strats and tellies and stuff. And this is one I wanted to check out, but I just didn't get around to it. So checking it out now. The refresh included an update to their Jazzmaster models. I bought it online, uh, Amazon. You can check uh, affiliate links if you're interested in getting one. For yourself, the affiliate links, they, uh, they provide a, a commission to me. They don't cost anything else and just supports the channel. So it's always appreciated. What do I do with the money that I get from that stuff? It's none of your damn business. Yes, it is. I buy more guitars. Buy more guitars, feature them on the channel. So Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. So this is a deep dive demo and review of the Affinity. I'm not just gonna demo it, I'm gonna tell you all about it. And it's the Affinity Jazz Master in a really rich, dark, attractive, uh, deep, Lake Placid Blue. I don't know if they actually went to the lake and like got specs of the, anyways. Let's go over this, all the specs and features. Remember that movie, Lake Placid with the alligator? Had nothing to do with this. Let's talk about the specs. I'm gonna put them up here for a second. Can I get out of the way for a sec there? You see all of it there. That's on the official site. Fender's got an official site and they have all their Squire stuff. And you can take a look at that. And if you wanna read it, you can pause it and go back and obsess about it. But anyways, let's talk about all the stuff. Let's talk about each item. So it's got a poplar body. This one's a little bit lighter. I've had some heavier poplar bodies. Um, I mentioned it's a Lake Placid blue finish. Got your sealed die cast tuners with split shaft on the top, and I really like that because it's like they're like vintage style kind of on the top. Um, synthetic bone nut. They uh, what they do is they f they make fake animals and then they harvest the bones. Uh, Indian laurel fret fretboard. If I could talk, Indian laurel fretboard looks like rosewood. Really, really nice. Gloss headstock. That's uh, like a newer thing that they've done on them. You catch the light there. Gives it a nice uh, fancy look. Um, satin finish on the neck, almost a raw feeling, but it's very nice. 21 medium jumbo frets. They're not jumbo, they're medium jumbo. And they're not jump, they're not medium, they're not jumbo, they're medium jumbo. Single coil, two, uh, two Jazzmaster ceramic single coil pickups, three way toggle, and then you got your volume and your tone. And then it's got a modern two point trim system, which I don't think I've ever seen on a Jazzmaster before. So it is string through too, yeah. That's, that is the difference. I was going to say not string through. Usually you don't see string through on a Jazzmaster. That's really uncommon. So let's move on to some more detailed measures, measurements, specs, stuff. I'm going to do like actual real time measurements. We'll check out the insides of the guitar. I'll take all the specs of the necks. So you know what you're getting. Because sometimes people can't play these in person. They, they buy them online. They're like, I like a certain spec. I need that number or I can't play guitar. That's, that's what I... You know, that's the feedback I get. If it's not 42 millimeters, that's not a guitar to me. All right, and we'll come back with my uh, pros and cons and my summary as well. Come on, let's do it. Let's get some real specs here. Let's, you know, this is real stuff. This is, this is the real deal. So this is my food scale from Canadian Tire. Most people don't even know what I'm saying. 3.59 kilo, 7.934 pounds. Nice, pretty nice. For a jazz master, like I mentioned, I've had some heavy ones. So here's the pickup resistance. That's the neck pickup. And you got the neck and bridge combined. And then uh, and the bridge. There you go. That's your numbers. 11, 11. That's pretty cool. I don't think I've seen that before. So let's move on here. What are we doing next? We're taking the strings off. Easy to take off because it's the vintage style tuner. So that's really cool. Take those off, get them out of the way. Then I can measure the neck specs and uh, there you go you can you can read those right 
I tried to go up close so everybody could see it. So I got the millimeters, and then I got the inches, and I got the fractions. Maybe like fractions from grade school. Like I like two and three hundred and twenty eights uh, width. You know, that's my favorite. I don't know. What is he even saying? Okay, there you go. That was the uh, now the thickness up at the top. There you go. That was the first fret, and down by the twelfth, a little bit thicker. It's a good size neck. It's not super thin. It's not super thick. It's pretty pretty common. There's the body thickness. Sometimes people want to know, are these these Squire guitars, are they the same thickness? I think this one is. It felt full body. It felt like the full thing. So, cool little trick here. Take two picks. They gotta be like firm, and then you can just pop off your pop off your knobs. That sounds weird. Take off the pick guards, and uh, there's only one pick guard, but we're gonna take off the screws on the pick guard, and then take it off here. And you just kind of slide it out, and it's. It's pushing up the, the neck pickup. No, the yeah, the neck pickup is kind of pushing up towards the neck there, so it's just a little bit tough to get off. So just being careful here. You flip it over. Lots of lots of wires and things and stuff. So here's a look on the inside. You got full size pots. Somebody told me before what brand these are. I forget what they are already because uh, I wish they'd put the name. I guess S. Maybe they stand for. They stand. You know what? There's the brand. It's called Something Pots. That's the name. Here's, here's the bridge pickup. It's got a piece of foam underneath, and that's how they like adjust the height, and then you got the screw. No shielding in the cavity, so just putting it back in here. It was harder to put back in because you got to line up the the, uh, the wires. So there we go. And uh, just putting that back in. Lots of screws. Taking off the back plate here. Six screws, and then we can see the trim block. It's kind of like a medium-sized one. Sort of thin and then thicker on the top. And uh, there's your uh, claw and your springs. Nice and clean. No complaints there. Very nice inside. So, well done, whoever made this guitar from. Oh, just want to mention this. You got the trem bar, and it's one of these screw in ones. So, you just gotta flip it around, flick it around, and then you're kind of stuck with how tight it is. But there you go. All right, we're gonna hear some tones, but first let's hear about today's sponsor of the video Skillshare. That was smooth. You know what? You don't get much smoother than that. Did you know? You might know this. I don't know if you know this. Skillshare is an online learning community, so that means you gotta use your computer. Thousands of classes for anyone that loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. I've been checking out this course. This is the one that I'm looking at right now. You can check it out too, but do, do what you like. Mini class, stop motion. It's called Create and Animate by Brock Davis. And he's a visual artist. I guess he does stop motion. He's also a creative director. I like stop motion. I use it. Uh, I use stop motion in lots of my videos, usually in unboxings. Like if I have a guitar pedal or something, I'm like, how can I make this interesting? Because that's not interesting to watch somebody unbox something. So, so I'm hoping to pick up some tips and tricks, always looking to learn new things. And Skillshare can help you with that. And uh, that's the one I'm checking out. So, so I ask you the question, because you need to know, do you have a specific skill you're trying to learn? If you answered, I don't know, then Skillshare is the perfect place to start, but your answer was yes. From guitar, like I mentioned, uh, well this is a guitar channel, so from guitar to animation to graphic design and more. It's got everything. They got so much stuff. You'll never run out of stuff. This is always important. All the courses are ad-free, so you can plow through them with ease. You can go at your own pace. You can just run through them. You're not wa waiting for people to tell you about stuff. Before I forget, the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial to Skillshare. Thanks again to Skillshare for being the sponsor of today's video. Always appreciate it. Helps the channel. Love it. What are you waiting for? Go try Skillshare. All right, today I'm going to be plugging into my Fender Princeton Reverb Amp, and it's mic'd up there with the Sennheiser 906, E906. And then for dirt sounds, I'll be plugging in a TS Mini and a Joyo Sweet Baby Overdrive.
go. You got to hear it clean. You got to hear it dirty. Let's talk about pros. Lots of pros on this guitar. Nice factory setup. Uh, played great. The neck satin is super nice. It's almost raw feeling, but it's smooth at the same time. So it's very interesting. Um, the fretboard is like one of the cleanest, nicest fretboards I've ever seen. And uh, my fingers didn't get dirty from the strings and from the fretboard. So they've definitely done, uh, and the frets too, I mentioned that. The fret ends are really nice, they're polished, they're not scratchy. So they've done some extra work on the neck, I can tell that for sure. Because I've got even more expensive guitars and my hands will be dirty either from the strings or just from like the shop dust or whatever, you know. Um, it's, it's better than I would have expected, for sure. And it's a oh, cheaper guitar, so you don't usually expect that on these prices of guitars. Electronics feel good, what I'm talking about is the pots when you turn them, they're smooth. Super clean and slide, Sli <laughs> slip and slide. Super clean inside, you got to see inside, there was, it wasn't all dirty. I've had more expensive guitars that are dirty. Glass headstock is a nice touch, I mentioned that. Uh, and the weight is pretty pretty good. Jazzmasters can be heavy. I gotta say, so that's my pros, I don't really have any harsh criticisms of this guitar. I'll just mention some things, that if you can take, if you want to take them as cons, or just as information. There's something about, and this isn't the first guitar from Squire that I've had, this Lake Placid blue color, it's kind of got a sticky finish, and I don't know if you can hear that. It's hard to describe, but it's not smooth. It was also the same on a, on a Tornado. I can't remember Parallel Universe, whatever it was called for the uh, Squire stuff. But if you rub your fingers on it, it kind of grips a little bit. It's kind of weird. It's it's not a bad thing, but you can hear that a little bit. Anyways, um, I'm gonna say though, the uh, the overall guitar, I don't feel like it's a Jazzmaster. Like this trim system made it feel more like a Strat, and I'm not sure these pickups being with like the, the loud ceramic, it didn't really sound like a Jazzmaster to me. So that's just something I thought I'd mention. Overall recommendations though, it's really great. It's a really good guitar, really good value. Um, I think if you if we really wanna get the feeling of what a true Jazzmaster feels like, you gotta go up to the next level, the Classic Vibe 60s model or something else in the, the Classic Vibe series. I've played a number of Jazzmasters, I've owned a few over the years, so. To me, it feels more like a Strat. It's more like a Strat guitar. That's just my thoughts. That, and that's, you know, and uh, so, there you go. Right, so. All right, I, I'll mention one more time, if you want to get one though. Definitely recommend it, nothing wrong with it. Um, I got affiliate links, check those below. Got you covered, always appreciated. Doesn't matter where you're from. You could be from North America, you could be from Europe. I got, I got affiliate links to cover everybody. Nice refresh, good value. It's my thoughts on it. What are your thoughts on the Affinity Series Jazzmaster or any of the Affinity Series guitars? Let me know. Leave a comment, uh, what do I usually say? And uh, so, uh, so I says to him, I says, I says, as always, play guitar and have fun, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.